Any compromise in our faith would not bring us closer to our Muslim brothers and sisters, but further away. A people of God tend to lose respect for a weak faith, whether their own or another. We continue to give Almighty God all the thanks and praise for the peace we experience in the Gambia. That was part of the paper that the Archbishop delivered in uh, London in an interfaith dialogue conference. And I vividly remember interviewing the Archbishop and we touched on interfaith relationship in the Gambia and he precisely said to me that Gambia is a model country where interfaith relationship should be copied by all other nations and the Archbishop was very right. It is only in Gambia that you will find a mosque opposite a church where Christian ceremonies are enjoyed by both Muslim and Christians and vice versa. So as we continue to witness this service, the delegation to the Gambia from outside this country is worth remembering at any one time. We have Matthew A. Kamara, Diocesan Secretary from Guinea Conakry, David Sau, General Secretary of the Christian Council of Guinea, El Haj Tala Manet from the Muslim Community in Guinea, Mrs. Mary Madeline Madi, a friend to the Johnson's family from Guinea. We have the Reverend Canon I.C. Hutchinson Sevans from Chichester in the United Kingdom. Reverend Canon Alexander K. Asma from Secondi in Ghana. From Liberia, the Right Reverend Dr. Jonathan B.B. Hart, Bishop Celebrant. Councillor Jim Mesata Howard Wolokoli, Chancellor from Liberia, the Reverend Canon D. James B. Selly, Seminary Professor, Priest and Preacher from Liberia, Mother Selly from Liberia, Reverend Father Silewion P. Lewis, Priest and Bishop Secretary from Liberia, Dr. G. Roosevelt J.J. Chair, Diocesan Planning and Development Board of Liberia, Ms. Joe E. Gilbert, Cottington University representative from Liberia, Mrs. Joanna P. Hill, President of Episcopal Church of Women in Liberia, Mr. William Bryant, member of Liberia, Mr. Prince Bolden, Mrs. Precious Dennis, Mrs. Leona Cooper Collins, Mrs. Gertrude Wardrow, all of them from Liberia. Also attending this service today from Accra, the Right Reverend Dr. Samuel S. M. Toto, a celebrant and preacher, the Most Reverend Dr. Justice O. Okrofi and wife from Accra, the Right Reverend Thomas Wilson, the Bishop of Freetown, the Right Reverend Julius Lynch, retired Bishop of Freetown, Canon Ajay Nicol, Dean of the Cathedral, Head of Clergy from Freetown, Justice Adirena Thomas, Chancellor of Freetown Diocese, Crestoria Kabia, Head of Lighty from Freetown, Mrs. Victoria Wilson, Diocesan President, Mother's Union from Freetown, Mrs. Melrose Bob Lucas, Development Coordinator, Mother's Union from Freetown, Bishop Emmanuel Tucker from Bo, Emmanuel E.C. Shears Moses, Lord Chancellor of Bo, Reverend Canon James Y. George from Bo, the Right Reverend Daniel Alote from Cape Coast, Ghana, Right Reverend Dr. Victor Atabafo from Cape Coast, Kofi Fosson from Cape Coast, Bright Aquete from Dunk 
Kwa on Ofin in Ghana, Mrs. Mary Kwashi from Koforidwa, Justice Mrs. Sophia O. A. Adeniri from Koforidwa, Most Reverend Robert Okini from Koforidwa, Most Reverend Dr. Daniel Yinka Safo, who is officiating the service. He comes from Kumasi. The Right Reverend Dr. Cyril K. Ben Smith from Kumasi. The Right Reverend Jack Boston Diocesan from Guinea. The Right Reverend Albert D.G. Gomez Emeritus Celebrant and Preacher from Guinea. Chancellor Samuel L. O. McCarthy from Guinea. Mr. William Fernandez, Legal Advisor from Guinea. The very Reverend Jean B. Cameron, Dean of the Cathedral in Guinea, Mrs. Mary Mary Macaulay Mary Thompson, late Bishop Macaulay's wife from Guinea, Mrs. Camara Charlotte Curtis, President of MU in Guinea, Mrs. Elizabeth Fuller, Advisor of Women Fellowship from Guinea, Mr. Charles Flint Muddy, President of the Youth of Guinea, as well as representatives from the United Kingdom and, and of course from the United Kingdom. 555, Lord and Throne in heavenly splendor. I'm going to be under my own. 